Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. It is me, Ekbranos, and um, I decided to try something. So this is the same play session as last time. However, I restarted the game to see if we could get some of the things that we did last time uh, to take effect. And it would appear that we got a little bit of mail from the HRA, the Happy Room Academy, which this can't be good. Can't possibly be good. <laughs> Thank you for joining the Happy Room Academy. We'll be monitoring your progress as you try to turn your home into a masterpiece of style. Happy decorating. Great. So, um, other than that, it would appear that nothing changed. Our house is still the same size, so, uh... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Not a whole lot we can do there in that regard. However, uh, who knows? Maybe there's... Maybe there's one or two things we can do. What is... Okay, you can't interact with that. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, hey, I don't think that was there last time, was it? Maybe, maybe there are a few things reset in here. Uh, also, let's go ahead and take care of that, shall we? Let's go ahead and take care of that. So... I guess it's going to be a little while before we get any return uh, on this, uh, on these sort of letters to the post office, which is unfortunate. Or to the museum, I should say. Where the hell is the post office? I need to get rid of these letters. So I do believe that a lot of stuff doesn't change until the next day cycle, so uh, I don't think resetting the game was actually going to help me, but I did feel like I was kind of in a rut after the last, after the last game, the last episode I should say, so I did want to try it, I want to at least give her a good old college try, you know. So, that's what we did. Uh, in between the, the videos there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I guess in, in other news, the, we were just trying to get more money, really. It's not a whole lot new in terms of objective. Uh, maybe some more furniture, maybe some cool event could occur, I don't know. Probably not. We've already been playing for the day. Really want to cross this river for some reason. I really want all these trees to go burn in hell. Uh, I don't think Tom Nook's shop would have reset either, right? Like, that would be broken if you could just reset it for him, if that makes sense. Let's talk to one of these guys, uh, see what's up. Maybe we can do a menial task real quick. Start padding out the episode with those, shall we? I need work. An errand? Yes. No, you don't have anything. Alright, well, we can always go back to our friend who seems to know what's up. Right? The one guy who always has something. Also, I don't think it would have reset or anything would have been added, but let's just check in here anyways. On the off chance that it did. Gotcha. All right, so it doesn't it doesn't reset anything in here. We have to wait until the next day cycle. That's fine. Honestly, it makes sense. So we're gonna go on down. Ooh, do you have anything by chance? Go see if Ed is finally through with my Game Boy. People are just keep loading out their Game Boy. That's insane. Quit loaning people your Game Boys. Not a goddamn Game Boy Finder, now am I? Oh boy, all this stuff is like object permanence. Doesn't Ed appear? Yeah. Hey, give me the goddamn Game Boy, kid. Ha ha ha! Ah, you bitch, I'm picking up. But Spike came by the other day and snaked it. I mean, he snaked it. I know I should have kept it. I I was out of line. I'm sorry, dude. That's somebody's Game Boy. Oops. 
Oopsies. Bruh. You don't just give away people's game. What are you doing down here? Why are you downstairs? Why would you lend it to somebody? It's not your Game Boy. Sorry, but can you talk to Olivia about getting it back? Olivia had it the whole time. She's literally right there. She's literally right next to the owner of the Game Boy. And now we're going all the way back. You see why I hate these people? Do you understand yet? The pain I go through on a daily? Unbelievable, okay. Where are you? You cat bastard. You're up here somewhere, aren't you? I, I swear. Oh, you're on the next floor. Got it. Or no. Yeah, Olivia, right here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Anyone ever told you that you talk too much? Oh, okay. Get right to the points! God, you are such an asshole. You know that? Leave my town already. Uh, good, here it is. Don't forget to return it and say hello. God damn, who the fuck loans their Game Boy to like eight different people without asking? Uh, so irresponsible. So irresponsible. Meanwhile, I'm over here like this 10-year-old kid paying off full debts of over $10,000. Here we go. It's also it's an orange game. I don't like the orange one, but you can have it. Oh, you're just gonna flat out pay me for that shit? Holy fuck. 720 bucks for a... Uh, little errand like that. I'll take it. I don't know what the conversion rate is to, fuel, to to dollars, but must be pretty damn good. All right. Well, that's done. And we've still got a lot of time to kill in this episode, so I think we're going to try and figure out how to get these pears out of the tree, obviously. Uh, and it turns out that's not hard to do. You just You just shake it. I lied to you guys, that's not what we were coming this direction for, but we did find some pears, so we are going to shake the tree and get those. We just made about 600 bucks, that's amazing. This game is actually broken. A conch? Oh my god, conches are worth a lot, I think. Band dollars are worth a lot. Venus foam is not. There's a basketball here. Can you kick it? Kind of. I don't know if you can do anything with the balls. Dude, another conch? Oh my goodness. And another sand dollar? It's not. It's a lion's paw. Oh well. A white scallop. White scallops are big money, I think. So we'll drop that. And another sand dollar! What do I swap it with, though? Uh... Probably one of these, right? I don't know what's worth more. I mean, that pair is probably going to just stay there. Object permanence in this game is weird. Uh, anyways. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, what happens? What is this, first of all? We, we explored this, but I don't know anything about this. I don't know the lore. I don't know what it does. This is the Townville Wishing Well. This is where one comes to learn the status of things in town. When things are well, the travelers will come to visit Townville. But there's still more wisdom in this well. If someone has given you something that, for some reason, you are unable to deliver or return, you can come to this well and apologize and leave the item here. How and, how, how and where and when would that ever happen? There is no shame in apologizing. Sometimes it is all you can do when things go ill. Okay, so now we know what apologizing does. It 
literally like I started the fetch quest and decided I didn't want to do it anymore. The ultimate lazy move. Well, let's go turn a profit to Tom Nook. And maybe we'll go ask the well if everything is okay in the world. Maybe we'll find something to do because of that. Why, hello there, Mr. Nook. Well, 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 let's sell these first and foremost. That's 500, which is a lot. Yes. So these sand dollars, there's two of them. 120? Not terrible. Could be better. Got the white scallop. It is 3 p.m. now, I guess. According to my uh, real life clock. Which this game tends to uh, use, so there you go. I have two conch shells. What'll that what'll that net me? What'll that net me, Nook? Seven hundo? I was expecting more, but that's that's fine. The lion's paw, Nook. What about the lion's paw? It's only forty? Damn, I should have dropped that instead of the pear. I didn't know, dude. I didn't know. See ya. Now I don't remember, I think watering can is an item too, so we might need that as well as the axe if we ever want to plant trees and stuff. I don't know, I don't know how to take care of the trees. Again, I might have to do some research before coming back to this. Also, I just noticed villagers' eyes are always looking to the, to the right of him? Why is that? It's a little freaky. A little bit weird. I, I, no, I don't like that. Uh... Oh yeah, we were gonna go down to the well and see if there were some problems with the town. And of course we had to shake the tree just in case pears fell down, which, you know, 300 bells. Just free. 300 bells. This is where you go. Now this tree seems suspicious though, this is a sus tree. Okay. Everything's good, I guess. Never mind, ignore the sus tree. Alright. I haven't really gone around shaking trees in a while. Part of me kind of wants to just do it. See if money falls out. What is this? We just left a bunch of shit here. Might as well just pick it up. Just to get rid of it, probably. Alright, so here's the well. Okay, let us see. How are things? How are you? Well, oh, in areas where there is very little green, it's the whole town, dude. It's snowing. A feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to Acre C4 and see what is amiss. C4. We're talking bombs, it would seem. It is Olivia. Something is wrong with Olivia? Damn it. Not the first villager of choice I'd want to go help, but go check it out, shall we? Now, I don't know if the game... I wonder if the game has some kind of failsafe in it to where it'll never have nothing to do, you know what I mean? Like, there'll always be some errand you can run or some kind of event that can occur. But I, I really do wonder if... Uh, the game is programmed to have, make sure there's always something you can do, you know? Or maybe not, maybe the game does just have, like, downtime in it. I'd be a little bit disappointed by that, but you know, it's not my game, not my decision. Alright, so she's down here. Shaky shaky. Where's the bakey? Okay. You already taken your lunch? Well, let's get right to the point. Can I help you? Oh, of course, what an excellent thing. Timing. What excellent timing you have on your part. Okay. I'm so bad at reading. <laughs> My videotape. Right, right. Jane's videotape. She literally lives right next door to me, but you know, can you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but like. Where is she? Uh, Jane? Are you inside? 
I'm not in right now. Okay. So, that means she's off doing God knows what. Oh no. Uh God damn it. Where on earth could she be? That is a sneaky ass little hidey hole for that. Thought I wouldn't notice it. The gyroid sick. And I am just now realizing that I think they're called gyroids because they gyrate and make sound. Ah, here we go. Go ahead and put this in here. I just want to see it. Sure. Whoops. No, 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 no. Put that down. Oh, really? I can't fit anything right here? This space really too small for most things. Huh. These two really work nice together. This one is kind of kind of just there, ain't it? What? I had a pair on the ground the whole time. Is that why things couldn't fit there this entire time? It is. There was a pair there, dude. <clears throat> huh. Well, that's a bit crazy. So, uh, what I have realized is that Jane is out and about somewhere, and, uh, I'm going to cut to when we find out where. Because we're running out of time. And I want to complete the quest. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me? I went all the way across the goddamn universe to find you, and you don't even have it. God damn, dude. Spike needs to keep his fucking hands off of other people's shit, you know that? Every time I go to do something, everyone says, Oh, well, Spike took it. Well, Spike's a dick. Jesus Christ. There you go, yeah. Everybody had to see this video, I guess. It was just the best video in the world. Uh, yeah, alright, so we'll just, we'll just go and return that. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. This is ridiculous. Well, and that, my friends, is why all these trees are fucking getting cut down. <laughs> eh. Oh, well, well, now there's no danger for shaking the trees, so uh, we might as well shake all of them and maybe get some cash out of it, right? That's the way I look at it, at least. But you can't have two stung eyes. That's just not how the game works. Where is Olivia? So she can make fun of my uh, face here. There you go. 
Oh, that must hurt. The bees have been after you, haven't they? You poor little pincushion. You can't just run around in a panic when you see bees. You have to use your head. You don't know what to do? Figure it out for yourself. I'm not your mother, you know. Eh. Wow, thanks. Enough idle chit chat. Take this goddamn video tape, you son of a bitch. I don't believe it. You actually managed to get the video. I don't believe it either, dude. Impressive. Most impressive. You're incredible. I just bought this the other day, but you can have it. It looked much better in the store. Very nicely done. For the time being, it appears that I have no reason to regret asking for your help. Very well. Uh, a winter sweater. How useful, considering- why is it short sleeve? What the fuck kind of winter sweater is short sleeved? I have been bamboozled. Oh boy, alright, well that is- that is probably gonna do it. Um... Quite an unlucky... Oh, you motherfuckers. Not this time, bitch. Okay. Alright. Alright, yes. Okay. Okay. Look, guys, I don't know how to put it uh, other than fuck me.